Hey, what's happening? Today, we got a new review. Another one of these guys from Vecma. This is the <laughs> Versus Head Warrior VS05 Crocodile. So, um, you know, there's some uh, art. I discussed this in my last video, but you know, all these, uh, the fonts and stuff being a reference, fight super mech life versus head warrior to, um, uh, the anime. He does look more, uh, animation accurate here. Uh, his headmaster gets a name, all bite, all bite deformation into, I don't know why that was out of focus, all bite deformation into wolf man's head, all bite trainer. So, <laughs> kind of in the same way uh, that uh, Kong Ming, his name wasn't really Kong Ming. It implied that it wasn't really Kong Ming. This guy, the crocodile, his name is Wolfman, which seems like a clear mistake and uh, should be uh, this guy, Weird Wolf. So, we'll see when Weird Wolf comes out. But, uh, you know, there's that. There's that same, I'm uh, pretty sure, ripped off art, and, you know, no more of that crap. So, but, uh, here is, uh, we will just call him, uh, Crocodile, I guess, because he's definitely not a wolf man. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there he is. He looks pretty cool, I'll admit. I really, really, uh, dig this toy. I think, uh, for what it is and what it does, I think it does a really excellent job. So, uh, you know, he comes with a sword and a gun thing. So, just to take a quick look at him, his face looks great, man. It really looks good. You know, proportions are good. He's got the, you know, giant animal head on the back that's, you know, the the go-to now i have his legs uh mistransformed to give him more stability because uh this is more or less the titan's return figure so uh, just kind of retooled a bit and uh that one famously couldn't stand and i'll compare it in a minute but uh the way they want you to have the legs transformed, the way they come transformed in the box, is, uh, yeah, this is right, like this. So, or that, maybe that's turned around. Uh, but, this is still too high up. So, um, we'll stand on this, but... You know, if you want to give him more stability, you can, you know, give him his actual foot there. Anyway, whatever. He'll stand. He'll stand, and uh, we'll take it. So, uh, there's his gun. It is two pieces here. So, you could just have him with the gun. This, unfortunately, uh, can't really be used as a shield or anything. That would be cool. So, uh, this is pretty much useless without this. So, but, uh, you know. And a sword, obviously. But uh, this will just uh, slide in here. And this piece will slide in there. So and He does come with two of these gun pieces. He does come with one in pink. So you can use the pink one so that in crocodile mode, uh, you know, it matches better. And you can give him a pink gun. But uh, why not just give him a silver one, so. So here we go, let's just give him, sorry, it's one piece. His hand has a tendency to come apart. So as far as what's in the box, of course, it's pretty much the same as the, uh, as before. 
taking a look at a lot of these, uh, you know, mech fans, toys, Vecma or mechanic studio guys. Now it's two sheets. So I don't know if I, I mentioned this in Kong Ming, it totally could be one sheet. So I don't understand why it's two, but yeah, pretty basic instructions. And then the second set is not really instructions, more things I could do. And this is of course the recolor, re, the remold uh, of uh, Optimus, which really tempts me and the, the, the rest of the instructions. So. But really, I might get him because uh, it looks great. But anyway, let's, um, let's just bring in some comparisons and then we'll go over articulation, get him transformed. So here is Unique Toys Palm Warrior. I forget his name. Shunk, maybe, or something like that. It was something real stupid. But uh, you know, there he is. So you can see he's he's quite a bit bigger than uh than this guy. It's kind of that in between like Kong Ming. So Here's a mechanic studio guy, right? This is a uh, uh, rapid speed. So again, it's a bit bigger. It's for size. And of course the other comparison is for toes. Let's see if they'll stand up. <laughs> a lot of space. So here's Titan's return. Uh, skull cruncher, skull smasher, right? This is skull cruncher. Skull Smasher. So, I mean, this is really Skull Cruncher, let's be honest. But, uh, for some reason, I think they lost the trademark and called him Skull Smasher, if I'm not wrong. But, uh, well, yeah, it's Skull Cruncher. But, uh, yeah, surprisingly, he'll stand. I think, um, that I've got his legs transformed, maybe? No, no, he just, he just will stand now for some reason. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I had to say something, huh? All right, you got to kind of chicken leg his legs a little bit. Yeah, that's what sucked about this guy. But you can see, as far as a deluxe size, there's that. So, and uh, a lot of the same uh, stuff that this guy does. So, so articulation. Uh, he, his uh, shoulder does go up, you know, because of transformation. So he's got that hinge. And that's a ball joint. And swivel. 90 degree, another another swivel down here. And the wrist goes up and down, which is nice for the sword. And that's about it. Uh, waist. So hips on a ball joint. Swivel up there. Knee, toes. And of course you can adjust these however you want to get them to stand up right. And head does uh, rotate does look up a little bit you know so yeah 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 also kong ming here i mean might as well because we're gonna try to amass all these guys so so you know they look good they scale well together obviously same company so oh also he's got that speed strength too and uh, this thing, it, like, sits up too high, I think. And it's too indented in there. It's weird. It's a weird, it's a weird panel. But I appreciate the detail. So, we could obviously remove his uh, headmaster. He's got that same little uh, part that spins that Kong Ming had. And there he is. It's a teeny bit of paint on the face. Pretty normal. Really basic. You know. Typical articulation, hands are, you know, moving together, so, boop. Just for comparison, not that he, uh, is a remold of this guy, but, you know, previous legends. And, of course, the Titans return as well. See how much bigger he is. 
So, yeah. So let's just get him booped and transformed. Oh, oh, oh. One thing. So I know a complaint I have often with uh, toys is uh, storage. Uh, elegant storage is nice. Storage at all is nice. Even if it's just an option and uh, it ultimately looks dumb. I like it. I like the uh, option there. This stupid thing, man. I should just let it go. There we go. But uh, he doesn't really have any storage. So there's no way. These up here, the I have discovered this. This These up here are just big enough for this. So you can technically do this. Do this, right? You can do that. That looks really dumb. But you can store. And uh, this will go in that hole. So and this is not in the instructions, obviously, because it looks really stupid. But there you go. You have you do have storage, which is great. So you know, if you want to imagine that this is how he stores his weapons when he's not using them, then totally cool. So just another point I wanted to make here. So let's just get him transformed. Pretty easy. This will open up. His hand will fold in, and that will come out. And uh, you can bring that back, but it doesn't sit flush anymore because the hand. And there's some spiky details here, so I, I feel like it's supposed to be out like that. So, whatever. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do. So, RAR. And let's see here. So, just like, this is why I, I'm saying the uh, making the Titans return comparisons. Because this whole section is uh, pretty similar. So, you want to bring that up. Uh these little notches or thingies, pegs, go in these holes. Oh my god. Turn that all around. And there you got the front of Crocodile. I'll bring the feet out. And fold these up. Come on. Open the whole thing up. And those back legs are just like super articulated, which is nice, but there's, it's just, there's unnecessarily. And then this thing doesn't really fan those and peg in either way it's turned, but uh, you know, it's not a huge deal. It's a cheap toy. So, yeah. And then, of course, you want to bring in his, uh, tail and uh it's got a hole there that'll peg into that hole so and of course if you want to use the pink it's gonna like i said match better and then this will go over that kind of similar to the titan's return so and there he is now i don't mind the uh mechanical detail in the back so you know whatever but if you wanted to be all pink like i said there's that option here you can use that so yeah but uh yeah it looks really cool little red eye there and uh, no paint in the mouth or anything but yeah not bad not bad i think uh definitely pretty good he's got articulation here and here just based to based on how these connect and tons of articulation you know in the back the front not so much but his head and even neck are articulated so now similarly to kong ming my complaint my one complaint is how the pilot sits in here now what's nice is that he will sit in here perfectly actually very well but getting this open <laughs> there is no point to grasp onto I've, i found the only way to do it is kind of pinch this thing gotta have a little bit of a nail pinch it and that'll open up 
and there's really not much detail in there. There's no detail in there, <laughs> but he can. He can sit in there. So, oops. Anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. Pretty awesome looking. So for some comparison here, this is the Unique Toys Palm Warriors, kind of ridiculous looking in comparison. This guy definitely blows it out of the water, but this is such a fun transformation. It's so unique and so cool, and I'm glad that they didn't just rip this off uh, because it... Uh, this, this looks a lot better, but, you know, if you have this toy, you know what I'm talking about. This is really fun. It's a nice take on the character. So, but, yeah. And, of course, Titan's Return. Now you can see there. Yeah, his mouth, is, his jaw is loose a little bit, but, you know, kind of does a, a lot of the similar things, so... It's cool. Even these uh, teeth coming out on the side there. It's repeated there. Little things. Not, you know, this whole transformation is different. This whole transformation is different. The way the tail attaches is uh, pretty identical. So, um, you know, the toes ending up here, you know. But uh, definitely an improvement. I think this is better than the deluxe version so if you're looking for a version of skull cruncher this is awesome this is definitely worth it and it's a nice uh price and it you know it comes with some options so <laughs> and uh it's pretty cool so definitely a recommend i did get this from uh, the chosen prime uh so getting some of this stuff in and uh yeah if, if you're looking for uh if you're a Headmasters fan, if you're looking for more stuff, definitely check this out. I fully recommend it. Uh, a Legends vehicle, just because. So, <laughs> there you go. All right. So, uh, let me know what you think of the video. I'll leave a like. And I will talk to you guys next time.